Good day everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're not yet subscribed, please click subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates. Today, we're going to learn how to make money in raising chickens. We will learn also what are the costs associated in raising chickens. So just sit back and relax. So these are the following costing assumptions that we are going to use in our costing procedure. First, we have 100 heads of chicken will be used for our costing. And there are free 10 heads during the acquisition stage. And out of the 110 chickens, 10 heads will suffer diseases and illnesses, or shall we say the mortality. Location is in Mindanao, Philippines. And straight line method of depreciation is used for the housing of the chickens. And costing is in Philippine Peso. Next, we have the costing components, or what are those expenses associated in raising chickens? First, we have the cost of baby chicks when we acquire them. Second, we have the feeds or water consumption. Also, we have the vitamins or medicines applied, the labor or the salary of the one in charge at the farm, and we have the overhead allocation for depreciation, electricity, and other costs. It is very important to note these expenses because this will have a significant impact in your bottom line or your profitability in raising chickens. First component is the cost of baby chicks. So for us, we acquire them at 23 pesos per baby chick. Total for 100 chicks that uh, we use for our costing is 2,300 pesos. Next component will be the feeds and water consumption. So for 100 heads of chicken, from day one up to harvest, they can consume up to four bags of feeds. So the cost will be 5,600 plus the water allocation of 500 per month and a total of 6,100 pesos. So we have to take note that feeds and water consumption is the highest expense that you will incur in raising chickens. Third cost component will be the vitamins and medicines for the chicken. From day one up to point of harvest, we will incur a total of 600 pesos for the vitamins and medicines. So the fourth component of our costing is the labor cost associated in raising chickens. Or this is the salary of the farmhand who is taking care of the chickens. So the amount will be 5,000 pesos monthly. Suppose the capacity of capacity of the chicken house is at 1,500 heads of chicken. The allocated labor cost for 100 heads is 350 pesos. Now let's go to the final component of our costing procedure, which is the overhead allocation. Total overhead allocated cost in raising chickens totals 606 pesos. This is composed of the following. First, we have the housing cost allocation. We spread the total cost of the building to its useful life, which is five years, and then spread it to the total estimated annual produ production of chickens. So we arrive at 33 pesos for 100 heads of chicken. Next, we have the equipment cost allocation, which is composed of the feeding throw and the drinkers. So charge at 40 pesos. We have also the electricity cost allocation and other cost. Final figure, we arrived at 606 pesos for the overhead allocation. Now let's check if we make money in raising chickens. Summing up all the expenses or the cost components that we've discussed a while ago, it totals 9,956 pesos for 100 heads of chicken. Then we have a revenue or sales of 12,000 pesos plus the other income which is the sale of the liver, the gizzard, 
and intestines, we have an income of 13,000. So for 100 heads of chicken, you will earn a net income of 3,044 pesos, or that is 30 pesos per chicken sold. Sounds not a good amount of money, right? So now, let's perform sensitivity analysis. At 500 heads, you will earn a net income of 15,000 pesos monthly. What if you will increase your volume of production to 1,000 heads? You will have 30,000 pesos. And at 1,500 heads, you will grow your net income to 45,000 pesos. The question now is how to make money from raising chickens. The key is you have to increase your level of production because as you increase your level of production your profitability or bottom line also increases i hope you learned something today so if you need any help in your costing activity message me at quicktechforwarders at gmail.com for sure you will receive a response email coming from me have a good day everyone please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates